Hello all. Uh, today we we will study about basic configuration of a Cisco router. To start uh, more advanced, I would like to show the basic configuration of Cisco router or switch. I will show you in GNS3 rather than Cisco Packet Tracer. I will call this project of GNS3 basic commands. Okay. And I will add one router. 72 series router. And another router. Let's say two routers here. I will start all routers. Then I try to connect these two routers from interface G Gabit Ethernet 1 slash 0 to G Gabit Ethernet 1 slash 0. Okay, I will show the interface. Let's do a very basic configuration of both routers. Let me start on router 1. Right click, console. Okay, router 1, we have interface G1 slash 0. So I will show you the basic configuration actually um, to start using router basically after you switch on I mean to you power on the router it will be ask you to press enter to get started so uh, you can press enter on the router and then you type enable to start using router or switch of the uh, Cisco product. After you uh, enable, you can do many things here on the global mode. So you can show the configuration. You can show running config. It means all configuration will be shown here after you type show running config. Let me move it here press space sp press more space bar to get more configuration here are the routers configuration so this is the interface there are no IP address assigned yet because we just started to uh, configure and you can also show the version of this router what is the version of this router so this router using cisco ios software 72 software and it is using version 15.2 so this version 15.2 is the um, quite uh, i mean new model so new version because the old version it, it was version 12 some protocols some con commands cannot be used on version 12 but version 15 yes you can use and you also can start configuration by typing config terminal okay this I mean this command is bring you to the configuration mode so that you can start configure routers or switch. Okay, this you need to be careful so you can damage your router if you typed something wrong. So be careful with this mode so because it can be a fight to the network if you type the wrong thing okay 
How many interfaces just now have you seen? You have seen, let's see, interface 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four interfaces on this router available, but we are using only one. We are using interface G1 slash 0. So to go to the interface, you need to remember the interface name. Like here, uh, router 1, we are using interface G1 slash 0. So to go to interface G1 slash 0, you need to type interface and then space. Type your interface name. You can just type G1 slash 0 or you can type the full name Gigabit Ethernet 1 slash 0. Yeah, but you can just go with G1 slash 0. That's fine. Then press enter. Now you are uh, entering, uh, you are entered uh, interface G1 slash 0. And then you can do anything with uh, interface. You like uh, assign IP address and enable the, the interface to up, change the state to up, like no shot, etc. So let me assign the IP address. How to assign the IP address? You can type IP space address and then the address you want. Okay, 192.168.1.1, let's say example. So whatever address you want to assign with this interface, just type it. Let's say slash 24 slash 24. 255.255.255.0 is the class full of the class C address. So whatever address you want, just type in here and then enter. After that, do not forget no shutdown. Because by default, the interface it was shut down. So you have to change it to up by typing no shutdown or just no shut. So now the interface is became up sorry it became up now it's changed to up the state okay after you configure the IP address uh, within this interface you can exit from the interface by typing exit and then it will become to the configuration mode then you can do anything else okay like other routers or switches when you want to put the password you need to put telnet password you need to put console password and you need to put also enable password to secure your device because your device can be remote by telnet ssh or, uh, or console and then enable password also you need to protect it how to protect this thing first we need to enable telnet password type line vty 0 and 4 this 0 and 4 is the keyword for sorry the 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 code for uh, encryption code for uh, telnet so you can put password and then space then password you can put anything you want but please remember the password for this example i will use cisco as the password for telnet login and then is it to assign password or enable telnet password you just type this command then that's it now you enable the uh, telnet password when you want to do uh, remotely you want to configure router remotely you can using telnet and then use this password as a cisco password and then if you want to enable console password you also need to type line con zero and then you assign the password 
my example I will use Cisco as a password okay and also you need to enable the pass put the password for enable secret Cisco I will use Cisco as the password too so now you have set up turn it password console password and enable password but do not forget to encryption to do the encryption by doing this command you can encrypt your password service sorry service password encryption so now you have done protect your device let's try is it all okay now to start using you need to enter the password of the console because we are remote by console so this is the console password Cisco okay and uh, this unit in GLC the, there is not able to do the enable password it's already enable anyway so this is what you can do on the Cisco router and what other things let's configure router 2 first and then we will try more commands right click console the same thing on router 2 you can do the same so I will start configuration and assign IP address by going into interface g1 slash 0 and then I will assign IP address 192.168.1.2 because the other side of the router I have used 192.168.1.1 already so here is dot 2 and uh, slash 24 no shutdown okay it will be changed to up for this interface again I exit from the interface and I also need to um, let's say uh, protect my router I also enable the tenant password password Cisco and I also enable the line to the console password Cisco and enable secret Cisco and service password encryption sorry sorry service password encryption then uh, now let me is it from the uh, is it so I want to disable this every time I is it it will be alert this one so I want to disable this if I want to disable this I'm going to config mode and then I say no logging console okay by doing this command when I type is it it will be no more logging console here so this is the command let me show the running config just show run what I have done configuration on this router I can just type so running config like I have done on router 1 to cd or all the configuration so this is the interface I have just configured the address the rest of the interface are still 
shut down but this one not shut down because i enable i have no i have used no shut command it will be enable so let me try to use ping you also can ping from router to router by typing command ping for 192.168.1.1 to another router okay so when you see the dot dot is mean request timeout and you see this colon is, is like succeed so when you ping again it will be succeed all five packets so, okay so this is the basic command you want to use with uh, router bef before you is it the router or is it from the remote like telnet you need to save by typing wr you you can save all your configuration okay thank you for watching the basic of using Cisco router thank you